Uh, I'm pretty happy. Uh, you know, Oakland is a really tough team, and uh, it's been a long time since we've been able to uh, be reasonably competitive with them. So I'm really happy. I've got a lot of young kids on the team, and they're learning, and and especially on the guys' side. I mean, going from high school at 5K distance to 8K in college, that extra two miles is a huge jump for them. And so uh, they just need experience, and they need more races. But I thought, man, our young kids got out there today, and they competed, and, and we saw some really good performances. So. How impressed were you with Jordan and his ability to stay with the leaders for most of the race? Yeah, I mean, he showed toughness in practice, and, uh, you know, that the last step is showing toughness in races. And uh, But he's shown me that in practice on a daily basis. So uh, it's not that I'm, I'm surprised about that, uh, but for him as a freshman getting out in his very first 8K and showing me that toughness right from the start, that's that's a good sign for his future as a Division One college runner. So go ahead. How important is this for your whole team to show a great start? I think it's important. It's important. I mean, we've done so much hard work. Uh, you know, at camp we were doing 15 to 20 miles a day. The kids are not complaining. They're getting out there. They're working as hard as they possibly can. Uh, and, to you know, you, you want to see some of that come back in races to just encourage you to keep, keep digging down that much. And so um, I think it was great for our kids uh, to have good races and see the result and the fruit of some of their labor so far. So. What kind of things would you like to see moving forward now with this group? Um, just to uh, continue to close our gaps. I think uh, Taylor and Jordan are great up front for us. And, and now who's, who's our third and can our third stay close? And can our four and five stay close? And, um, and they're also close in talent. I think I'm going to see a mix of things as the year goes on. It was uh, difficult at the very end uh, back in the, uh, the woods area. I was uh, cramping up a little bit. but. I remember from semi-state last year, the same thing happened and I just tried my best not to uh, have that affect me and I ran as hard as I could and I was uh, glad to also see uh, some of my teammates right behind me as well. Does it give you some extra confidence when you were able to stay with the leaders for most of the race? Actually it, it really did. Um, being up there in the front, I just, I don't know, I just feel a lot better just running up there because I feel like I'm not getting pushed away that... Uh, I have a chance to stay up with them, and I really like that feeling. Is there anything you need to work on? Um, maybe my finish. I have to say, the ending, I'm usually um, a lot faster and I'm more comfortable at the end of a race, but today I just I was a little choppy and uh, I wasn't feeling it today, so I need to uh, practice a little bit harder on the uh, speed workouts that we do in practice. As for the race as a whole, how big was it to have a good start to your season here at home? Um, first home meet, um, it's extremely important to uh, me along as uh, all the other guys. It was our uh, first 8K race of the season. And um, I don't know, it's just a, it's a big difference from uh, high school to college. 